Hi, good morning. I'm Dave Kwashi. I have a small piece of land and I have an aquaponic system at work on this small piece of land. We're going to go through the whole process of the aquaponic system, starting with the things that we use to develop the system that is readily available here in Trinidad and Tobago. We first of all, this system is what you call a NTF system, a nutrient flame technique, meaning that the nutrient is flowing through some lines that would service the plants and give the plants the nutrients that is, that is necessary for its development. We are using aquaponics. It's a hydroponic system, but instead of chemicals, we are using the waste product or the byproduct of the fishes that we have in the system. The fish of choice we have is tilapia because it grows well in the tropical conditions that we have here in Trinidad. Uh, it's, it's easy to, to maintain and it is able to stand up to a lot of pressure. All right, so we have in this tank, in this uh, IBC tank here that is again available, we have 70 tilapiers. This is the medium-sized ones that we have in the system. They are about half a foot long right now. We have this other tank. We, we have two tanks. We have this other tank, and they have the bigger, the bigger of the, the tilapia, the biggest, I would say. Uh, they are about a foot to a foot and a half long. We have 20 in this tank. Normally, we, we recommend about one tilapia per three gallons of water. So if we have that kind of ratio, this tank hold 300 gallons of water. So we could assume we could readily hold a uh, hundred tilapia in each of these tanks. However, you would have to have a very good aeration system. And if current goes and you have a hundred tilapia, you realize that the mortality would be immense. Uh, so for safety, the less amount of tilapia to a greater amount of space is recommended uh, uh, just for in case of emergency. All right, good, let me run through this whole thing. We have a, a one pump system, meaning that we only use one pump to pump the water and the rest is gravity fed. Okay, so we have in the slump tank, we have uh, the pump pumping the water all the way up the lines and the gravity is feeding it back into the tank, the major tank. So we are making use of gravity and minimizing the amount of electricity that is used in the system. So let me start with the slum tank. The slum tank is also doubled as a bio tank. The bio tank helps in the conversion of the ammonia into nitrites, into nitrates via something we call bio balls. Now in these tanks, we have rocks for filtration. And the rocks have multiple surface area, so they are able to help in the conversion. And we have bio balls. The bio balls look like these. The bio balls, they have multiple surface area that trap bacteria and the bacteria help in the breaking down of the ammonia into nitrites and then into nitrates that the plants would be able to use. Okay, now, seeing that I, I have these in my hand also, we have the baskets here that we put the plants in. So the basket, put the plants in and then we put the plants into a hole in the nutrient line. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, first of all, this tank has fish that is big enough to reproduce. They are reproducible age. And they reproduce uh, uh, fryers, and then the fryers would go into this tank. Right now, we have fingerlings in the, in the tank because the fryers have grown to, to fingerling size. Last week, we were able to, to bring into our system some fryers that is in this tank. So the system is complete in that it is self-sufficient. It supplies itself with all the things that is needed. The big ones produce, reproduce, and we are able to harvest after a certain time. We, we recommend that you keep your tilapia for about nine months. Nine months is a good time for keeping tilapia because after nine months, they, uh, they, they, they go through a process that you consider to be in economics, diminishing returns. They are eating too much feed for the kind of size that they are that, that they are going to be growing, so at nine months is the best time to harvest tilapia for an economic from an economic perspective. 
So the system started in November, this is June. So we have a, a few months to go again before we harvest the first set of tilapia. But in the meantime, we were able to harvest, this is the third set of lettuce that we were able to harvest from the system. We are able to produce lettuce within three weeks, three to four weeks from the, from the stage of the, um, from the seedlings to full size. We, this time around, we staggered the, the lettuce in that we didn't put all of them inside the system at the same time. We put some in and then we put some others in. And the reason for that is because it's, it's, it's a home system. It's just for our home use. We are not producing to sell. So we want the, 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 the lettuce to produce in stages. So we, we, we worked on that. We have 50 lettuce in the system. We have also tomatoes. The tomatoes, uh, we could have, we could say they are big, bigger, and biggest. You could see that the biggest tomatoes, they are already producing, they are already producing fruit, beautiful fruit, they taste, they taste very good. We have also in the system cucumber. This is the second set of cucumbers we are having in the system so far. The first set, we've run along here and we already harvest along the, B, B, the uh, BRC lines. Now, this system, is a wonderful challenge on the mines that we that we are producing here in Trinidad in the sense that we produce a holistic education system and it blends engineering with agriculture with aquaculture with uh, chemistry everything comes together beautifully all right let me just explain what 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 I'm talking about here we have the fish production we have the agriculture we have the engineering and we also have the chemicals, the chemical aspect. Now you cannot put chemicals into the, the system because whatever you give the tomato must agree with the fish. So it is all a natural process. We created a whole natural environment. The fish produces ammonia quite naturally through its gills and through its urine. And the plant, the biofilter converts the ammonia into nitrites, into nitrates, the plants take in the nitrates and they send water back into the tank free of ammonia and the fish is happy and the plants are growing beautifully. So this is our aquaponic system here in Trinidad. Tomatoes, cucumbers and lettuce. And very, very soon fish in the sense that we will be harvesting our fish very soon. A very good, complete system. On a small piece of land, the land size is 12 by 16, 12 by 16, and we are able to do all of this. What you, the, the work is minimal. All you do on the mornings is that you check your lines for clogging and for leakage and all of these things, and you feed your fish. Well, I'm about to feed the fish and we might be able to see some of the fish. I'm about to feed them. They are camera shy. So let me see which ones. Okay, these are the, this is the tank with the fingerlings. Hmm, camera shy. I chose small feet inside, so it did not attract the bigger ones. Oh, yeah. we have some little movements here. We have 70 inside of this tank, but they are camera shy. We have 200 inside of, 200 fryers inside of that tank. And we have 100 fingerlings. I think the fingerlings are on show right now. Just have to come across there. I don't know if you could see it. See them but anyway this is the aquaponic system that is at work here in Trinidad and Tobago thank you for viewing Dave Quashi over and out